priceless. You can't put a price tag on this kind of hard work. A local Marine veteran is filled with joy tonight after two companies came together to build him a new home fit for a hero. TV5's Ronnie Duncan has this emotional story. That noise was pleasant to the ears of more than 20 volunteers as they ripped apart and gutted the inside of his home. The home of 38-year-old Marine and Flint native George Grundy Jr. I'm humbled. When I think about the entire process, I'm humbled. Grundy's home was chosen as part of General Motors' $1 million donation to Habitat for Humanity. It's a hard hat on, but you ready to do some hard work? I've already been doing that. <laughs> I, I'm waiting to get back up there. <laughs> Tom Wickham of General Motors is proud of his company's foundation's role in helping to fund this project, which includes building 11 new homes. One of those 11 projects is here in Flint. We're doing a renovation, what we call a work lift project, for a homeowner who is a veteran of the military. In conjunction with Military Appreciation Month, GM and Habitat for Humanity's timing couldn't have been better. And for Leslie Voyles of Habitat for Humanity, the love and commitment from the volunteers is worth more than the $90,000 that will aid George Grundy Jr. and his dreams. Is priceless. You can't put a price tag on this kind of hard work. To me, that's huge to have uh, two multinational corporations invest in me and believe in me enough to say, hey, we want to see you succeed in a place where people don't really see success very often in these days and times. I I'm very humbled by that and I'm appreciative and I thank God for it. So I guess we can say it is out with the old and in with the new, and George Grundy was right. Imagine Flint being better. And once you start to imagine, that imagination becomes a reality. In Flint, Ronnie Duncan, WNEM, TV5.